I know, I know. I need one of my more uh, professional artsy students to make me a better intro because that one is uh, lame and lazy and made in Windows Live Movie Maker. But you're back anyway to watch the vlog. This is day six, recorded and posted on day eight, so I'm catching up of the 30-day uh, reflective teacher challenge uh, put out by uh, Teach Thought. And so in this vlog today, I'm going to talk about what a good mentor uh, does. So, uh, yeah, this, this is kind of exciting. Uh, I think a good mentor, uh, I don't know, this is going to be very abstract, so hopefully you're not looking for something like, oh, if I do these, I will be a better mentor. Somehow it's more of a uh, Parker Palmer style, like heart of a teacher deal coming in here. But I think having a good mentor uh, has the ability to move people. Uh, I think a good mentor... Um, can show people, uh, has the ability to show them the path, uh, but at the same time, uh, show them in a way uh, without shaming them if they decide to take another one. Because, uh, you know, one of the things we found is there's multiple pathways to success and there's multiple different ways to reach the goal of, you know, unifyingly educating and uh, improving society through schooling. So, you know, your way's not always right there, Mr. Mentor. So. What do you think about that? Uh, I think a good mentor uh, has the ability to give a good feedback. And by good feedback, I don't just mean like, oh, yeah, that was good. Or, oh, mm, eh, yeah, it was okay. I mean, like, like good, like, brutally honest feedback. Like, don't, you know, don't be crushing dreams, Mr. or Mrs. Mentor. But, you know, you, you need to make sure that your uh, your mentee is improving. I actually had my first ever student teacher last year, so I, I wanted to make sure that I gave really good feedback because I had some mentors uh, when I was in my student teaching. This is like, I mean, this is like way, way before even student teaching. I actually had a really good mentor, uh, Mr. Michael Mihalik, uh up at Albion Public Schools, which uh, no longer is even open at the high school level. He was a biology teacher. He, he was very good. He had very awesome classroom management and did a very nice job of showing me uh, what he did and encouraging me. So, But I, I was talking like early in my field work. We had to teach some lessons and we've had like almost no pedagogy to no pedagogy and definitely no methodology and like hardly any like classroom experience. And it's like 8 a.m. on a day when you don't have to be up to like 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. and you were up like way too late before because you're an irresponsible college student. But I had some other teachers that really like, I don't know, like it was so, it was like too informal to the point of like almost like, yeah, yeah, and there's some kids in the back of the room, whatever, ignore them or blah, blah, blah. And I teach a lesson and be like, oh. And so, I mean, I don't know, I don't think they're personally writing me off, but I think, you know, maybe they're oversaturated, maybe it was just too busy, but I think, you know, I, I tried to do a really good job of giving, like, really uh, helping my student teacher last year help out, like, helping her, like, fill gaps in her content knowledge that she might not have yet, because, I mean, I have more biology education than they do if you're, like, a freshman or a sophomore in college, uh, then, you know, maybe not uh, most recent stuff, but I've had a more well-rounded biology education. And so, you know, fill out gaps. Plus, I've been learning as I've been teaching gaps in my content education. Um, and, you know, just help giving them good feedback and really, you know, really, you know, being, being kind, but being really picky and being really sure that, you know, down the road they will benefit from having you as a mentor. I think that's really the things that a good mentor needs to do. So, uh, what do you guys think makes a good mentor? Put your comments and or video responses all over all of the internet, and uh, it'll get crazy. Lots of vlogging. Two today. Yay! Day six on day eight. So if I do two tomorrow, and then that should be the last day of two, and then I'll be caught up. Yay! So as long as I vlog on the weekends, then it'll, it'll work. Okay. That's enough for me. Thanks for watching, everybody.